Center County's new 911 center is up and running. It's been connected with all the county's police departments, and Gary Sinderson has been following the center's progress. He's live tonight with a story. Gary? Area police chiefs here this morning meeting, getting together to talk about the new 911 system, going over operating procedures and other issues. As you said, early testing has gone well. All the police departments are now online. Tomorrow, it could be a busy day for both the police and 911 personnel. They're ready. That's what Center County's 911 director Dan Tansenbach is saying about the new communication system. Saturday is the State Paddy's Day event in State College with various police departments providing manpower. Yeah, tomorrow will be an excellent test, especially for the police, uh, since they can all talk to each other now without too much difficulty and monitor what each other are doing. The upgraded 911 center has been years in the making with a price tag of more than $15 million. It goes online as there's a push for regionalizing emergency communication systems statewide. But we are working on a, in the very early stages of a regional assessment plan uh, to, to, de to develop interconnectivity between the counties. With police departments now online with the new system, transferring the county's fire departments and emergency responders will be next, a process expected to be completed this spring. So a milestone for the county with the new 911 system long discussed. It's been planned for years and it's now a reality. By the way, Penn State is still a major player. The campus 911 system is the major backup for the county and the university also provided $4 million for the new system. Live in Center County, Gary Sanderson, 6 News.